Two. You two. What's wrong with y'all niggas? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> yeah, it is I. The guy. Checking to y'all live. What's wrong with y'all, man? Hey, how y'all feeling, man? You know, just pulled up. I don't even know what I'm saying. Chalupe, you know, that Mexican grill shit. You know what I'm saying? About to chat on. It's fucking hot as shit. The only reason why I got my hoodie on. Oh, shit. It is 72 degrees. Not all that. The only reason why I got my hoodie on, man, is because it fucking downpoured and shit. But, um, anywho. Um. I just got something, like, to talk about. So. The whole news with, um, NBA 2K and whatnot. Yo. This whole hype. Right? With the PS5. And... The PS4. Yo, the versions of this shit is... Apparently, it's gonna be some new level shit with the new gen. Um, They out here talking about you getting, I guess, you're gonna be able to carry on VC from the PS4 to the PS5 or the Xbox... Xbox series, whatever the fuck that shit is, man, I, I don't, I'm a PS guy, you know what I'm saying, I'm a PlayStation person, through and through, so, I don't know what the new Xbox shit is, my nigga, um, uh, but, they out here saying, well, if you go get, what, the, the new, the, the, Kobe when he's old, the Mamba edition, you can get the Damian Lillard version when you pre-order the shit, and you buy it, and then when you get, like, the, uh, the fucking, was it Kobe edition, you pre-order that, you can get Zion, now, Honestly, how I feel about that, getting that shit digitally and physically, I've been trying to put this shit up in my mind of exactly what kind of, what kind of deal this is and what kind of proceeding I want to do. Because, you know, hearing the talk about it, at first... You know, logically, logically, because what, for years I've been buying games digitally. I don't even go outside, my guy. I don't go to GameStop like that no more, man. You know, I haven't been to GameStop since I, like, bought, like, my first, I mean, um, my last fucking uh, PS4 controller that I bought from there. But ever since then, it's like, what, I've been buying controllers from Walmart now. You can just buy that shit from Walmart for a cheaper price at that. So it's like, and if I want a new video game, bro, I'll just buy this shit on PlayStation Store. Like, you know, life is so much fucking great. But anyway, man, I'm out here just thinking, like, yo, because I'm going to get the PS5, you know, definitely gonna play that shit on the PS4 but then it's like you know for those I don't know I got a baby on the way and you know with this whole pandemic thing bro you know shit ain't fucking free man shit ain't cheap either shit ain't you know like how it used to be so this year I might not even you know Buying out my characters like I, you know, it's like every pretty much every 2K I've been buying out, max them out, all the slots, all the files for new characters, and this year I'm just like you know 
with shit going on. And yo, that PS5, depending on how much it's gonna be, you know, that shit ain't gonna be tough. You know, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. So I, I'm just saying, man, you know. But, and it's like, yo, I don't wanna wait. You know, because they're talking about, well, if you buy the, the Mamba Edition, the Mamba Forever Edition on the PS5, you're supposed to get a code for the Lillard Edition. And when you get it digitally, it's supposed to come out whenever the game digitally comes out. So that means that if you buy that shit digitally, you ain't going to be getting that shit on the same day as if you would got the shit physically. So, you know, even though you do, I do like how you get the 72 hour, you know, two times rep. And, you know, 2K20, yo, I haven't went this hard in a long time, you know. Because I've been so gone. I ain't went there so much since I was 18. Like, facts. You know? I haven't, I haven't went this hard. Well, since 15. Um, because what? 2K15. That was the first PS4, quote unquote, new gen 2K that I played. I didn't. I didn't get the 2K14 on PS4. I ain't get that shit. I was like, you know, in school. And, you know, you know, shit was tough. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like that. And I pretty much, whenever I felt like, you know, it was time to go get the PS4, I just traded in the motherfucking PS3. All the controllers I had, I always had multiple controllers, my nigga, you know, I ain't like y'all lame ass niggas with just one fucking controller, you know, I'm, I'm out here, when I go out, I'm going to fuck out, I'm buying every month controller, every color there is, my nigga, I got that, I had the eye to it, all that shit, the camera, my nigga, I was not playing, bro, you know what I'm saying, and I had so many motherfucking games, bro, Call of Duty was my shit, Call, Call of Duty, Black Ops 1 was my shit, and then Black Ops 2, bro, and then so on and so forth, after that, I had two, I don't know, Black, you know, Call of Duty hasn't been like my thing, you know, Ghost, I don't know, fuck, you know, Black Ops 3, eh, my favorite, uh, like out of all the modern warfares was Modern Warfare 3. I love Modern Warfare 3. Like that was my shit, bro. Like all the seats, five or whatever. And then like now, you know, I, I'm fucking with, you know, the new Modern Warfare on the PS4. But, you know, it got too many. Yo, it that shit takes so much fucking space, bro. I've never seen a game. Especially like a fucking patch. Why the fuck every time you update some of these big ass patches, bro? It's like shit like a hundred gigabytes. Yo, what the fuck? Now listen, I ain't got that much fucking space for my PS4. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got that much space. You know, you got 2K. That I, I bought that shit digital, you know, uh, WWE 2K, you know, 18, 19, 20. Um what the last 2k that I actually bought physically was 2k 17 and I you know I just bought recently uh 2k 16 and 15 15 just because you know CM Punk obviously and you know those times life was good um not 2K16. You know, I may sound crazy, but you know, Ryback, bro. Ryback. I like 2K16. I felt like, you know, it was the best 
at the time. Um, still one of my favorites. It's still my better favorite than 2K15. Just because 2K15, I don't like the submission system. I don't like the motherfucking, you know, kick out system. I don't like that shit, bro. It's like 2K16 was like a whole new way of, you know, the whole pie chart kick out system. I like that shit. And then that's when you had, like, you know, you can do like that, um, you know, the UFC, you know, the round with the sticks and whatnot. You can actually, you know, switch that shit out. That, that was that was my way. That was the whole new way, bro. I, I like that. That's just, I'm glad it kept it like that. Because holding the X button to the, like, the, the, the motherfucking little ass, like, little ass position for you to kick it. Bro, that shit hard as hell. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I think 2K15 was probably the only 2K ever that I had to not be able to, you know, play a match on Legend. And I like to play all my matches, you know, all, all the content that I've been posting. That shit is on Legend, bro. I like to play on Legend. Just because of the more competition. I'm even, yo, it got to a point where I, I had to end up, you know, fixing the sliders, you know, trying to make the AI more, you know, competitive. Because I want, you know, some good matches, bro. I want to post that shit so y'all can see. You know, shit ain't no game, bro. I'm not like no lame ass nigga, bro. Like, you know, when I play, I play, bro. Like, this shit real. You know, like, niggas trying to kill each other, have all blood and all that shit on. But I think 2K15 is probably the last time that, like, the bleeding mechanics was at par. And it's like, you know, but it's like some of the shit, like some of the moves, like the reverse DDT, like when they land back there, yo, you start bleeding from that. It's like, yo, okay, I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if that's actually, you know, real life, realistic, but, hey, niggas is bleeding. So, hey, I can't, I can't complain. But anyway, um, 2K21, y'all let me know in the comments what kind of version you're going to get and what, what consoles, yo, know, like what systems y'all going to get, you know, Xbox, PS5. Um, if you're not going to get, um, the next gen and you're going to stay with like, what the $60 version with Daniel Lillard or, you know, you can get the Kobe, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Just let me know. I know, you know, thing about this whole process, usually I don't pay a hundred dollars, like just for a game itself. But you're gonna get two for two different systems, so that's not bad. And then it's like if you get the the Kobe edition, I mean the the Mamba edition, the Mamba edition PS5 sounds like it's a better deal. You get a hundred KVC, get the My Team, you get um. Yeah, the my team cars and all that. Um, sneakers, apparently, you get sneakers. Um, but I still don't like how you cannot carry over rep. I don't like that. You gotta start whole shit over. But you know what? I don't know. You get 100k VC, that's free VC, bro. You can still always buy more VC. For both consoles, apparently you could actually save the hundred VC and whatever console, whatever console you're gonna be on, you actually end up with two, so you don't have to really buy, you know, more VC. But for my case, I'm not gonna be waiting for whenever the PS5 comes out. I'm not waiting for that, bro. When I get the fucking PS4 uh, 2K21 I'm playing that shit when that shit come up the 4th but with the pandemic I don't know 
like where exactly I go to a GameStop, but if shit, you know, stays the way it is, because I'm in New York, so I don't know exactly how everything is going to be working with GameStop, but if there is a GameStop that's open, I will go pre-order and buy it physically and, you know, bring it back, because that's less gigabytes you're going to be using, so... You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, let me know, man. I, I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to make this a long-ass fucking video. But, listen, this this is some some serious shit, bro. This is some real serious shit. And, you know, yeah, yeah, let me know in the comments, man. Hey, yo, make sure you like the video. Subscribe, you know, share the video, whatever, all that other shit, bro. And support with your boy, you know what I'm saying? Um, Follow me on Twitch at that, too. Um streaming. Hey. It's Sunday now. Ain't rain pouring no more. Ain't no old man snowing no more. We all whoa, you know what I'm saying? Um not going for Kanye West. Peace.